Whether you're trying to set a countdown timer for an upcoming event or just looking out for a way to boost engagement effectively, you have come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a countdown timer to your WordPress website using responsive add-ons for Elementor Plug. So we'll do this in three steps. Step one is to install and activate responsive add-ons for Elementor plugin. Go to your WordPress admin dashboard and navigate to plugins. Now click on add new plugin. Now here, search for responsive add-ons for Elementor. And once you found this plugin, click on install now. And once the installation is complete, click on activate. Now responsive add-ons for Elementor has been activated successfully. Now to use responsive add-ons for Elementor effectively, you also need a page builder that is Elementor. So make sure to install and activate Elementor before using the widget. Step two, is to add the RAE countdown timer widget. Now go to the page where you want to add the widget and click on edit with Elementor. Now here on the left hand side, search for RAE countdown. And once you see this widget, drag and drop it where you want to add it. So this is how the countdown timer will appear by default. And step three is to customize the RAE countdown timer widget. Now. The first tab is content and under content, you will see first option as type. So here you get two options, due date or evergreen timer. If you want to set the content for a number of days, then select due date and set the date here. Or if you want to run the countdown timer for a limited time, then select evergreen timer. Now here under view, you get two more options, block or inline. So if you select inline, this is how the timer will appear. And if you select block, this is how it will appear. And from here, you can enable or disable if you want to display days, hours, minutes, or seconds on the timer. And from here, you can enable or disable the label as well. And under custom label, you can replace days, hours, minutes, and seconds by anything you want. And under label position, you can set the label on the right or on the bottom. You can also enable or disable show separator from here. If you enable it, you can change the separator sign from here and you can change the separator color and you can also change the separator size from here. Under actions after expire, you can choose from redirect, hide or show message. If redirect is chosen, enter the redirect URL as well. And if you select show message, then you have to enter the message which will be shown after the timer is gone. Now, once you're done with the content tab, let's go to the style tab. And under style tab, under boxes, you from here, you can adjust the container width and you can change the background color from here. And under border type, you can select from the given options. And you can also add a border radius to your timer from here. You can adjust the spacing between the boxes from here and you can add a padding to the boxes from here. Now let's go to the content tab. So from here, you can adjust the uh, number color and number typography. And under label, you can change the label color and label typography. So one thing I would like to highlight here is that if you select actions after expire as show message, then under style, one more tab will appear as message. And from here, you can customize the message as well. You can change the alignment. You can change the text color of the message and you can change the typography and you can adjust the padding from here. So once you are done customizing your widget, go ahead and click on publish. And once it's published, click on view review changes to see the life changes on your website. So as you saw, RAE widget has a lot of features and a lot of functionalities. So go ahead and play around these features and make your timer according to your website needs. And that's how you can easily add a countdown timer to your website in just three easy steps. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.